Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Marburger and Caden. Caden, say hello. <laughs> and it is National Coffee Cake Day. So we decided we would make a vegan, healthy vegan coffee cake for today. Right, buddy? Oh, we're so excited. Okay, so this is what you're gonna do. This is, these are the ingredients you're gonna need. I wrote them down on my little notepad. You need um, a half a cup of unsweetened non-dairy milk. And to that, you're gonna add a half of a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. You do that because you want it to um, kind of curdle a little bit for the recipe. So you would add those together and let those sit. Then you're gonna need whole wheat flour, one and a half cups, one teaspoon of baking powder, one quarter teaspoon of salt, one cup of granulated sugar, but I'm using stevia. You need one cup of applesauce. That's what I'm gonna use. You could use a half of a cup of Caden Marburger. Now listen, I'm trying to give ingredients. Instead of one full cup of applesauce, you could do half a cup of oil and half a cup of applesauce. Do half and half. Um, and then you're gonna need some vanilla extract. One teaspoon. And then you'll need some brown sugar and cinnamon mixed together for the for the streusel. Okay, well, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we are going to. I already added the milk and the vinegar, so it's already curdling inside of there. Okay, but I'm going to start my big bowl with my one and a half cups of whole wheat flour. And I'm gonna put in there my granulated stevia. And to that I'm gonna add my baking powder, my one teaspoon. And then I need a quarter teaspoon of salt. There it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix that around. together. Now I used all whole wheat flour. It um, may, when you use all whole wheat flour, yeah, you see that? It makes things very dense and heavy, which is how I like it. But if you might want to mix whole wheat flour together with um, regular white flour, if you want to. Um, okay. So the next thing I'll do is I'm going to add the unsweetened uh, non-dairy milk that has the vinegar in it. I'm going to add that in. And I'm also going to add my applesauce. Now, um, I don't have any regular applesauce, but Caden has the organic, it's apple and spinach or apple and carrot pouches, which that's what I have. So that's what I'm going to use. I like to use these in my muffins though. Um, and the things that I bake anyway, because it sneaks in like vegetables and you don't even know it. So we're going to see how it goes. Um, I never tried this with a coffee cake. Um, so anyway, I'm going to do my full cup of applesauce, and this is where you can either do a half a cup of some like canola oil or coconut oil, and then a half a cup of applesauce, or you can do one full cup of applesauce. 
I have a feeling my coffee cake is going to be green because of this, but that's okay. We don't mind. Right, Kaden? Okay, and then I'm going to add my teaspoon of vanilla. You all done? Okay. Teaspoon of vanilla. And I always forget to tell you or remind you, you're going to preheat your oven to 350 and you'll prepare your pan. Now this is going in an 8x8 eight eight pan. Um, if you want to do it in a larger pan, you can just double the recipe. But I just want a small one. So now we're going to mix. Right, Kaden? Mix, mix. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Touch it. No, no, you want to help mix it? Yep. All right. So that looks pretty good. So I'm going to put maybe half in the pan. Maybe a little bit more than half. I'm going to spread it out. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, you want to spread it out? Um, you're only putting half in because you want to, in the middle of this, no, no. Here, you can help with this. You want to sprinkle you half of your um, cinnamon and your sugar combination. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any brown sugar here at my house right now for some reason. So I just used um, granulated um, Dutrivia blend that I was had used. Oh no, no, oh, oh well. Dutrivia blend that I had used before. That's what I used for this. And. Anyway, mixed in the cinnamon with it. Now we're going to just sprinkle about half of that over the coffee cake batter. And then we're going to put the other half on top. And it's okay if some of the cinnamon is still sticking out, showing out through the middle. Because you're going to just sprinkle the rest of the cinnamon on top anyway. Ooh, your hands everywhere today. All right, so I'm gonna spread that out. Try to make it as even as possible so it bakes evenly. Yep. You can have some when it's done. And then, like I said, I'm gonna sprinkle the rest of the cinnamon sugar on top. Now the last thing you can do, which I'm not going to do, this is optional, but if you have vegan butter, you can melt the vegan butter. And I think it said like two tablespoons. Um, you can melt it and then drizzle it on the top to make it a crunchy kind of crusty coating. Okay, so then the last part, here's my pan prepared. The last part is to bake it, and um, I'm going to bake it at 350. I'm going to check it at about 25 minutes or so, see where it's at, um, and I'll just keep checking it until it's ready. Um, and that's it. So Kaden is going to let us know how he likes it when it's all done. All right, say bye-bye, Kaden. We're going to have some after. We have to bake it first. He doesn't get that. All right, so we'll bake it, and then Caden will have some, and then he'll let you know how it is. All right, bye-bye. Have fun baking. Say bye-bye. Blow a kiss. Mm -hmm. Not today.